So this is Jasper. He is about a five to six year old um, healer mix. He uh, came to me for um, people aggression issues. Um, some he was nervous about other dogs, but mainly when he sees somebody else, he kind of flips out and barks and is very fearful. And um, but it kind of escalates, and he could be a very, very dangerous dog. He has been to training with a few other trainers. Um, all of his previous training was force based training on a prong collar, and so what I've been doing with him is trying to recondition him that when he sees a person it's not necessarily going to hurt or that he has to have pain associated with that person so we've been him and I had to build a relationship he wouldn't let me touch him for the first about four weeks that I had him and he also wouldn't eat the boy are you getting hot Jasper Jasper He has a muzzle on because he needs to learn that every time he has a muzzle on, something negative isn't going to happen to him. Um, before, he would have the muzzle on, go to training, kind of get beat up a little bit by the prong collar, or he'd go to the vet, and everybody's scared of him because he was wearing a muzzle. And so um, he has the muzzle on so that he can learn that it's not a, necessarily a negative thing. Um, him being able to have me sitting down and just having the person he's recording this stand right there without flipping out is a major accomplishment for him. Um, but for dogs like this, we really haven't even started his training yet. It's just about him being able to be comfortable with me. Comfortable enough to eat some food. Um, it was recommended by a few different trainers that this dog be euthanized. However, he's a happy, normal dog at home with his humans. Um, he has another dog that he lives with. It's only when he goes outside of his home or has people come over that he has issues. And the owners are very aware of the reality of having a dog like this and that he needs to be muzzled when he goes out in public and that he's kept safe when they're not home so that there's no chance that he has um, uh, to hurt anybody. Um, especially in public, he'll be wearing a muzzle, not necessarily because I'm worried that he's going to react, but we can't control the uncontrollables. So a kid running up to him, um, a person who the owner doesn't see that comes up and tries to pet him, those type of things. We want to make sure that, that um, he's safe when he goes out in public. For him, um, I'm just kind of reteaching him that training or working with somebody doesn't necessarily have to have a lot of correction involved in it. Eventually we will correct the behaviors that he's having, but we'll be able to, um, if he's paying attention to me, things are happy, he gets food, um, he, it's, he should be in a relaxed state. When something makes him nervous, he can identify it and then turn right back to me and seek comfort and not necessarily be so worried about what's going to harm him. Before he was very worried about the other dogs out in the kennel and he'd constantly be looking over there and really worried not being able to focus on me and now just being able to sit here give him some food and me being a stranger be able to handle him is is a big accomplishment for him I think with a little bit of time he's gonna be um, he's gonna have a better quality of life he's not gonna be so nervous and worried that things are gonna hurt him or that it's being associated with pain and he'll have the ability to focus on his owner and everything that makes him nervous around him is going to just become background noise and not become so important. Good boy.